I am Dr. Awalawa, a general pediatrician and breastfeeding specialist at the University of Ohio State Family Children's Hospital. Infants younger than six months need only breast milk or formula for nutrition. Many families are struggling to find formula right now. I will be talking about what families can do to feed their babies safely during the formula shortage. Here are some reminders for what families should avoid doing to keep their babies safe and healthy. Parents should not add extra water to water down formula. Babies need the right amount of nutrients supplied in their formula to help them grow well. Follow the instructions for mixing formula powder as written on the formula package. Do not try to make your own baby formula at home as this may harm your baby. Babies can start solid food when they are about six months old. In order for young babies to get all of the nutrients they need, solid food should not be used to replace breast milk or formula feeding. Both cow's milk and goat's milk are not designed with the right amount of nutrients and minerals that your baby needs. Plant-based milk, such as soy milk or almond milk, are also not recommended. If there is an extreme shortage when parents cannot find any infant formula to use, cow's milk may be used for no more than a week for children over six months and for children who can tolerate cow's milk Based formula. Many form families wonder why there is a formula shortage. The current shortage is caused by distribution problems and recall of some Similac baby powder formula products. Some formula products were recalled due to contamination at one manufacturing plant. It is important to know that some Similac baby formula products and all other brands of formula are fine and not affected by this recall. Many parents wonder where they can get formula. If your baby takes regular formula, it is safe to switch to any brand of infant formula you can find. Store brands like Target, Walmart, and Costco formula brands are all fine and not affected by the recall. Parents can also look at smaller drugstores or smaller grocery stores. You can call grocery stores to see when the next shipment will arrive. It is also safe to buy formula online from trusted websites and online grocery stores like Hy-Vee, Walmart, Target, Costco, Instacart, and more. Parents can call the WIC office at 319-356 6042 to ask for updates on formula to be covered. Many parents also wonder what they should do if their baby is on a special kind of formula because of allergies or they are unsure of what to feed their baby. Parents should call their doctor to find out what to do and ask for acceptable substitutes. Finally, many parents want to know how they can determine if a formula can has been recalled. Ideally, stores should not be selling any recalled formula cans. If families want to be sure, they can look up the lot number at the base of the can on the Similac website. For parents who are expecting a baby or who just had a baby, breastfeeding is an excellent source of nutrition for an infant. Mothers can ask for a consultation or help with breastfeeding in the hospital at their doctor's office or week offices. However, we understand some parents have difficulty with breastfeeding and we support your decision regarding what's best for your baby. Mothers may be able to increase their milk production after a period of not producing milk with the help of a breastfeeding specialist or lactation consultant. If you have a trusted friend who offers to donate breast milk, remember 
this should only be done if they have been tested. You can call the University of Iowa State Family Department of Pediatrics Clinics. If you need an interpreter, the interpreter number is 319-356-1967. Mothers may be able to donate excess milk to a local milk bank that is certified by the Human Milk Banking Association of North America, like the Mother's Milk Bank of Iowa. I hope this information is helpful. Together, we can keep our children safe.